Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the bar plot or the bar chart here in R. So before creating a bar plot or the bar chart, let's first look at the data on which we want to create a bar chart. So here in this case I have used empty car or I will going to use the empty cars which is an inbuilt data set within the R. So if I show you the first few observations then I use the add command and the empty cars data set and it shows for different cards what is the mpg that means miles per gallon and other variables so the variable of interest for us to create a bar chart is mpg miles per gallon by your automatic or manual so we want to see whether the automatic car is giving you the more mileage miles per gallon by utilizing the miles per gallon variable or is it the manual one so to do that first we need to do the aggregation of data and for that let's utilize the tapply function so we will use tapply and within that we will say empty cards dollar mpg and then we want to specify by which variable we want to aggregate mpg so we want to aggregate it by am which is automatic and manual so we will say we want to aggregate by am and how do we want to aggregate that means which function whether it is sum or mean so here in this case mean once we enter it gives us this data but we have done a mistake that we have not stored the value in any of the variable in any of the object so it's important because we need to use that object into for creation of bar chart or bar plot so i will use this command again i just hit the up arrow key and it is showing me the previous command and before the command i will write let's say bar one to store the result creation of bar chart and then i will use the command bar plot and i will just have to specify the bar one so if i hit enter here is the information or the plot the bar plot very simple one it is showing that uh, whether the car is automatic or manual so automatic is zero and manual is one and clearly it is uh, apparent that when the car is manual then mpg the mile mileage of the car is comparatively better than automatic one so this data which was aggregated like this got displayed in a bar plot or a bar chart now let's look at couple of other properties um, let's say for example you want to show this bar chart in a uh, horizontal fashion so currently it is in vertical way or vertical fashion so for that we will going to go to specify the parameter which is h-o-r-i-c horis is equals to true that means you want a horizontal one so that's what I meant so it, right now it is in horizontal fashion if we are not specifying this horizontal is equal to true then in that case it will give us the vertical bar chart all right uh, apart from this if you have a requirement for showing the uh, showing the or creating the bar chart for multiple variables let's say for example we have the metric where we have the data aggregated by car and with couple of other variables let's say for example by gear also so what i meant by that is kind of a cross table so to create this let's again use the t apply function empty cars dollar mpg and then we will use the list to create a list of variables and that is empty cars dollar am and empty cars dollar you have gear and then we want mean right so now it is a, a cross table cross table but you can see that it has uh, come up with the na values also so let's see how we can plot this so again we need to st first store the result so i will say bar 2 hit enter now i have the bar 2 variable and if i use this in a bar plot and simply say bar 2 it shows me the information for bar for gear 3 4 and 5 
that's what it was uh, presented to us as an output for tape apply as an aggregation so 0 and 1 is being shown as a category over here so for gear 4 you have both the categories because the values are present for both the categories manual and automatic but for bar 3 and 5 that means gear 3 and 5 you don't have anything even surprisingly there is nothing for gear 5 since even if you have 21.38 and it is because the first bar is any in this case so then how you are going to show the 21.38 well then in that case we may need to show the bars side by side so currently it is set, stacked up uh, on top of each other but if you are using beside parameter then it will going to tell uh, you know create the bar side by side and in that case your bar for 21.3 it will be appeared for fifth gear so how we can do that so again we will use the bar plot and we will say beside is equals to true so once we do that you have the bars not stacked up but side by side and since as soon as we hit enter the command we have one of the bar for 21.38 appeared over here now another issue with this bar chart is that uh, you don't have the values displayed over there so you can always indicate uh, with the help of this scale that what approximate bar value will be but many times it is very useful that you should show the the value on the bar chart somewhere on the bar chart so for that you utilize the text function so first of all we need to show we need to save the result of bar plot uh, into some sort of an object before we use that so let's say we create bar underscore text and we are saying power plot bar to side is equals to true and then we are using the text function within the text uh, it accepts basically three parameter x y and label that's the, that's the simplest form you can understand or to start with at least uh, and what basically x and y is coordinates point by point we need to show uh, we need to tell here in this case to r where we want to show the labels and then finally the label information so here in this case i will utilize the bar underscore text because that's where the bar plot is stored we have stored the information about the bar plot and same is the case here i will use bar underscore text so both x and y coordinate are coming from the bar plot and we will see how it will going to display over here and then how we can play around it to show it or to have the text information uh, shown in a better way and the labels labels are present in to the bar 2 so bar 2 object so once i hit enter you have values displayed over here 21.38 21.26.75 so so this information about where to display the these text values are coming from the directly from the bar plot now we can adjust the y value which is the second parameter because you need to go up and down here in this case right and x is perfectly positioned since it is coming directly from the same bar chart so if i say bar text plus 10 that means i want to move these up by 10 pixels so that it will come to get up and display properly if i hit enter you will see that again this information is coming so that way you can basically play it around and once you are done probably you need to create uh, the bar chart again and then display it in a proper way so that it is not displayed multiple times but at least uh, but just the one time so that's how you can play around with this information um, on the text and create your meaningful bar chart so one last thing to cover here is the uh, information on the legends so we are showing the legend or we are showing the two categories the automatic and manual categories for these different gears which are present in the data set so if you want to show the legend so that user can easily see okay what these two bars are really representing then in that case we need to use the 
um, let's say var plot function and in that we need to say legend dot text is equals to and we want to display the 0 and 1 which are nothing but the row names so we will use the row names function of of this uh, object which is bar 2 so once we do that it will show us the the legend to us over here so that's how you can create your chart and there are many other parameters uh, also available say for example you want to display some text on the y or on the x-axis then you have multiple options which you can see by putting a question mark bar plot once you hit enter it shows the bar plot and a lot of options are available which you can explore but very specifically i will show you the x lab and y lab x lim and y lim function which are helpful for putting a labels or or specifying the limits for your x and y axis so you can play around with that and get your bar plot or the bar chart more meaningful so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic